Welcome back, everybody. Senior night in stores at UConn. Three senior Huskies recognized for good reason. Pat Linehan, a former walk-on from Cheshire who earned a scholarship, has a 4.0 GPA in, get this, molecular cell biology. Wow. Okay, he's been accepted to Harvard Medical School, among others. So unbelievably impressive. Ryan Boatwright with his mom, dad, and grandfather. And a big hug for his former coach, Jim Calhoun. What a night. Speaking of, Jim Calhoun is in our studios this morning. Good morning to you. So good to see you. Carolee, it's great to be here, and uh, that was a special night. You know, uh, Pat has been accepted to Duke, Columbia, and Harvard Medical Schools. I mean, that is mind-blowing. Yeah, and then he's a basketball player yeah, on top of it. He's a great kid. It's great to see for UConn. Ryan Boltwright, pretty special. And, uh, you know, bottom line, it was a nice night. Unfortunately, we lost the game, but, <laughs> but up until then, it was wonderful, you know. But, uh, you know, these kids have had great careers, and they should be honored for that. And, uh, you know, we move on to the next game. They play Temple tomorrow. Well, I think it's super impressive when they're so dedicated and so good uh, at a sport because that's all consuming and then to be so good at, at their studies as well that's inspirational to Pretty students special. that are coming up behind yeah, we had a kid I met Olga for National Student Athlete of the Year graduated with a 3.97 honors program in finance in two and a half years but those kind of kids are unbelievable. Yeah, those kids yeah. are unbelievable. They're the cream of the crop. They well, really and you, you've gotten to work with so many incredible, <laughs> just top-level athletes and students as well. Uh, fun being back in the mix. At, at it really is. You know, and, and the whole thing is Kevin's program, Kevin Ollie's program, yep. and Kevin's one of my guys, mm -hmm. plays for me, et cetera, sure and the whole is. staff, the same thing. But I want to be there because Ryan said, Coach, can you come out on the floor? You recruited me, you coached me when we got started, and just, just, I want to end with you and Kevin. Yeah. And that's a great thing. So I always enjoyed it last night, except for the ending. And <laughs> I like being involved with UConn. I love Susan Herbst, our president. She's pretty special. Wad Manuel, our athletic director. So I, I like that family. I love my UConn family. Yeah, and it's always going to be your family. It will be. Aside from that, though, every time I talk to you, I feel like it's mind-blowing <laughs> to me how much you have going on. It, talk a little bit about it. So you're doing ESPN. Correct. And you're not there quite full-time, but it sounded full-time to me when you talked about all you've done for them and continue to do. Um, working with them as well, what, what else do you have going on? Well, you know, I, I mean, I certainly do things for the university and continue to do that. I do things with Nike. I'm going out to speak to the Big Ten next week in Chicago. Great. And so I do all those type of things, but... You know, I still attack our charities. I just think that God gave me the ability to, to maybe do some things basketball-wise and coaching-wise, mm -hmm. which gave me a microphone. With that microphone comes responsibility, as you well know. And that being the point, we're getting something here that involves oh, another charity, this. which is with Dunkin' Donuts. And Kerry Lee is going to be involved in something where it's called, we called it last year, March Goodness, but it's a special, special thing, Kerry, where we get the opportunity to have you drive up to the drive-thru or go in there, buy something for a dollar, and we give you a 99 cents coupon, so it's basically free. And what you're doing is every one of those dollars that you, that you subscribe to the Calhoun Cardiology Center, Pat and Jim Calhoun Cardiology Center, you're getting the opportunity to have that money go uh, to, to cardiac research. And it's pretty special. Last year we raised 50000 in about a week. And, and this here's year, the presentation of the check, right? At one it, of the UConn it, it was special. I mean, that, that kind of stuff is special. And I think what people need to realize, not only are we raising that money, that money gives us what they call seed money to get other grants. And we can get a lot more money out of that 50000 just mm -hmm. by having that seed money, that grant money. And everybody in all of us has been expected by, I'm sorry, affected by cardiology problems, cardiovascular problems. And it's important that we get as much money to help others. And here you are getting a cup of coffee and helping others. Yeah, and like you say, getting a cup of coffee, but almost getting it right back in return. And I love the fact that we have iced coffee here. <laughs> Either we're celebrating the fact that there's still ice outside, or we're celebrating the fact that it's going to be spring eventually, and we're going to want to cool down with a nice coffee. Sometimes. But if you go to Dunkin' Donuts, they've been a great partners to us. And this is just another area which we all can dig in. And I think that, that what happens is any time you get a chance to make a difference, and you have no idea the kind of difference you can make mm -hmm. for a dollar. I mean, everybody can do that. It's just unbelievable. Kids can get involved, and they, they love can. to do this sort of thing. Parents as well. So please go to your local Dunkin' Donuts, the participating Dunkin' Donuts. Get involved in this. Uh, easy way to make a huge difference in, in everyone's lives. And like you say, it touches all of us. Okay, um, March Madness. Any predictions? I really don't. You know, I'd like UConn to win it. Last year, I said I think we could. Not knowing that we could. And yeah, we did. well. It was a special, did, special yeah. season for us. But this year it's kind of wide open. I think mm -hmm. Kentucky seems to be the best team. But right now I, I think it's wide open. I think uh, there's so much parity. And people say that all the time. But there is. There is. Kentucky's a good team, a great team for this year. But not overall. So there's teams that can beat them, and I, it's going to be fascinating. I'm going that to be makes there. it fun when it's anyone's game. You as know? long as you're not the coach, then you want to be you. But, it's <laughs> not, no. but I, I think the bottom line is no question that it, it is anybody's game. You're right. It's so good to see you. Love Carol, when you come you. in, Thank coach. You. We'll try and sneak you back in when you're not as busy, but Thanks. I don't know when that's going to be. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're springing ahead this weekend. But will the weather feel more like spring, too? That's the million-dollar question, Darren.